Uh, this is Al Jazeera. These are the stories making headlines. Amid gunfire, controversy and a struggle for power in Cote d'Ivoire, Laurent Gbagbo has been sworn in for a second term as president. But the United Nations, the US and France are all refusing to recognize his presidency. They recognize Alessandro Tara as winner of the presidential runoff vote. Before the swearing in, two people were killed and barricades burned in Abidjan. There's been a string of attacks across Baghdad, killing at least 16 people and wounding more than 100. One of these seven explosions blew up a bus in a Shia area of the capital, killing three Iranian pilgrims. Striking air traffic controllers in Spain are returning to work, but it will take time to get airliners back into the air. At least a quarter of a million airline passengers have been left stranded on one of the busiest holiday weekends in Spain. Now, Barack Obama has been in Afghanistan, but he didn't meet his counterpart, Hamid Karzai. Bad weather is being blamed for not meeting up, but President Karzai has welcomed Pakistan's Prime Minister, Yusuf Raza Ghilani, in Kabul. You can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.net forward slash English.